Rapamycin is one I'm very excited about too. I spoke to Matt Cabellion, who's also now starting studies on humans, uh, people who are just taking rapamycin, experimenting with it. So I'm curious, what did the results say for rapamycin? What was the lifespan extension? Um, and also, were there sex-specific differences for rapamycin? And what was the dosing ske schedule? Well, those are four different questions. So... Yeah. Um, the, we originally tested rapamycin at a specific concentration of 14 parts per million of food. That is 14 milligrams for every kilogram of food. And uh, it led to, I'd, I'd have to look up the paper to give you the, last, the second decimal point, but it's about 20% uh, in the females and about 15% in the males. It, mm -hmm. it suggests that, uh, incorrectly suggests, that it may have a preferential benefit on females. The reason that would be an unwise assumption is that uh, work done by Randy Strong and his collaborators in Texas found that at, at any given dose of rapamycin in the food, the blood levels are higher, sometimes three times higher, not just subtle, but a big difference in the females. So when you give a rapamycin at a given dose in the chow, you're actually giving a, a higher dose in terms of the blood concentrations to the females. Mm. When you use rapamycin by itself, that higher doses, the best we've been able to get in females, about 26%, and that same high dose produces about a 23% increase in male mice. We're just about to submit a paper in which we've combined two drugs, rapamycin plus a carbos, and okay. that, that gives us the best percentage increase in males we've ever seen. We're getting about a 29% increase mm -hmm. in males. A carbos did not improve on rapamycin effect in females, so this is a combination of drugs that is working better in the male mice than in the female mice, even though rapamycin by itself tends to give a, a greater, greater numerical effect in female mice than in males. Do you know why there are these sex-specific differences? Do we know anything about it? No. Uh, I mean, there's a lot more to be done by pharmacologists. The, the most plausible guess has to do with distribution of the drug into different tissues, some drugs are, for instance, sequestered in the fat and then slowly released over the course of the next day, or the speed with which they are conjugated and then made available for either degradation or uh, excretion in the urine. Uh, these, any one of those steps could well be different between males and females in ways that modify the average blood concentration of rapamycin. Certainly, these are things you'd want to know a lot about if you wanted to see if any of this stuff worked in people. Right. And in terms of at what age you take the serapamycin and carbos, I guess in mice you're testing them at middle age. Is that correct? No. Um, no. No, it's not. I mean, um, we have tested rapamycin. In the initial papers, we actually tested rapamycin at two different uh, ages. Um, the young group got rapamycin starting at nine months of age. Mm -hmm. which in terms of the percentage of your lifespan completed is like the equivalent of a 30 or a 35 year old person. They're healthy young adults, but almost none of them have died at that age. But another group got rapamycin at 20 months of age. And in terms of percentage lifespan uh, completed, that's sort of the equivalent of a 55 or 60 year old person. A small fraction of them have died. A small fraction of them are sick, but probably 80 or 90 percent of the animals are still alive at that age. Um, we anticipated that if you give the rapamycin starting at an earlier age, you'd get a bigger effect. I really thought that would be the case, but it mm -hmm. isn't. One of the biggest surprises we've ever seen, in, or I've ever seen in an IGP data set, was that starting at 9 and at 20 months of age for rapamycin gave the same result, the same amount of increase in median lifespan and in the age at death of the longest lived 10%. So it's, it doesn't just peter out at a certain age. Um, that suggests strongly that there are rapamycin sensitive events occurring even in animals that have completed two thirds of their lifespan, of their expected lifespan, that are rapamycin sensitive and can be used to postpone all sorts of diseases, including the lethal diseases to a substantial extent. Mm -hmm.